Welcome back, everyone. I'm gonna remove that real quick. There we go. All right, so along the way, we have uh, this quest here, the Jack and Bean Club. So I think we'll stop by there real quick. Also, can't run as Ollie in town yet. Probably not at all, ever. I don't think you guys saw a thing that allows you to run around in town. Huh. Is this the Jack and Bean Club? Looks like it. No admittance, Ollie Stark. Oh. Due to the incident at the Rose Garden. Well. Well, I'll be damned if I'm not allowed to go in here. Oh. Hi! I can't use it, I guess. <clears throat> That's fine, whatever. I guess we'll just continue on our way. You look smashing. Well, thank you! You have an ancient day, have you? What a lovely day to promenade. Ba 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 Oh! Bobbies. Protecting the haves from the have-nots since 1829. I better skulk past them or it's gonna be a bit Oi. of a ruckus. What are you talking about? And don't you forget it. Oh, there's honey over there. Nice. Use the front door. Of course. Why is even her estate? Like, broken windows right there. Weird, right? He would annoy me otherwise, I feel. Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No, it's better not to know. You of all people should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss B. Help! There's a downer in my... Ah! 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 Well, that went smoothly. Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bain? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! 
You can't, please. I, I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. We should just, you know, snoop around in case, you know, it's somewhere else weird, right? You know, not on the kitchen table, as she said at all. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's somewhere else. I'll unlock that real quick, just just to have it. Hmm. Wasn't in, wasn't in the bathroom, ma'am. Let me keep looking. That doesn't look fucking suspicious at all, does it? Oh. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. Why does she have rotten food in her house? A little fucked up, ain't it? Slice of pie. Pie can't go bad, apparently. Like Twinkies. Oh, the god and perfect. Anything out here neat? Nope. Just that? Okay. The door here with more... Ooh, sugar! Bits of sugar, milk. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. I don't know what chicory is, but it doesn't sound good by the way uh, Ollie described it, huh? Oh, yeah, dress right. I'll search that, huh? What about here? Office? Empty pill bottle. A maid outfit! Huh! Can I, can I wear that? No, it's a quest item. Oh my god, I can wear it. You can now attend to Madame. Well, it says I need to use it to open the door, so I guess I should hang on to it for now. Someone's gonna answer the fucking door, aren't they? Oh, you cheeky. Let's see. Stanley word thing. Ooh, I don't. Happy New Year. Think she likes him very much. Feather of transit. Ah, oh, beautiful. Where's her bedroom at? Over here, eh? Right? No. Huh. Looks like with Ollie, you can't do the code note, uh, note chord note thing. So I guess there's not going to be any of those puzzles in his thing. Oh, we are a little bit peckish for food or sugar, I guess. Let's go ahead and eat this whole pie. Also, read this on your own. And then this is the uh, diary we've seen so many times before, so that's fine. A letter from Bing's wife? Hold on. Dear Pinky, I should have called you Colonel Bing now. Ah. Huh. I'm sure some will say that you have me arrested with your duty, but who did whom? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so there's three Bings right now. There's Victoria Bing, who's downstairs, the younger one, the daughter. There's Colonel Bing, the older guy. And then there's uh, Lily, I think her name was, Bing, who was the older gal, who was probably all their teachers. Okay. Wait, Prudence? What? By the time you read this, I'll be gone. Leaving is the hardest part of what I had to do. You were right about being off my joy. The others were easy to fool. 
But you, of course, were always so attuned to my moods. I'm sorry for saying you were just imagining it, but I did so to protect you. You must know by now my true feelings for you, though I suspect they are not reciprocated. Please don't come looking for me. We both knew that your sense of duty was the core of all your being, and I will remain your true friend, even though your past must not diverge. Wait, 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 wait. I guess I never drew the connection before, but was Victoria the one that Prue was, like, crushing on? Is that who it was? This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. I think she was also the one who was uh, Arthur's. She's got her own pneumatic. Uh, I better answer it. Her uh, ba -ba 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 boss, right? Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need it. an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Let's see. What does he want? As Arthur's office is now vacant, I do hope that you're allowing your way. Let me have it. Um. Honestly, he just wants that. Really. Hold on, what? Oh, I thought she was wearing a maid outfit for a second there. I was like, what the fuck? I don't want him to fucking have Arthur's office. Fuck this guy. Dear Back to work. Mr. Birthwistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work and less time pondering where you do it? That sounds like her, all right. Fuck you, Clive. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Well, they be surprised to find you've tied me up. What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Get away! <laughs> I'm just in a nurse outfit, don't worry. Hello? It's Beatrice Dalrymple. From the executive committee? I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I, is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take you okay? the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. I'll accept my daughter. Your daughter? Aye, Margaret, because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'm gonna throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? 
<laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? I'm real glad I uh took out that one Bobby or else he'd be fucking hearing this. All right, coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Okay. Uh, coffee yogurt. Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Do we just put coffee beans, milk, Everything and sugar together? Tight. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you better give her that yogurt. She's lost her damn mind. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, father. Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away from she does look a little Indian, doesn't she? The the darker skin and the hair, a little. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you, uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Uh... Uh, come, come now, darling. Hilarious. Come on, Miss Bing. Oh. Yep, she's gonna do something and open up a secret door and get out of here. Right back. This'll work? Question mark? Here's an accounting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. She was gagged. I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Yeah, but she's your conscious, Holly. She knows. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Can we just, like, drag her in this room and not all the way back to the main area? My dude. But why? Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I 
promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. What is this then? Uh, we are attempting to ascertain the whereabouts of one of your employees, Prudence Holmes. We fear she may be kind of down, or have you seen her in your office, or domicile, or received any indication of her whereabouts? Possible sticker. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. She's been gone. Uh, all right. I'm afraid. She's been gone from the office for some time. Why do I feel like a squealer? I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Times change. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naysmith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. You think he's getting upset? Ollie, you better talk to him. This fucking Christ, I'm gonna stab someone in the fucking throat. What? Why are you here? Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. You come right in. Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. Or we just choke him out. Hey, don't mind me, Miss Bing. I'm just gonna toss this guy in the closet over here. And lock. The children. Screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> I. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. There won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I've forgotten that. I mean, it's because Joy's contraception. That's why. Do they not know that? Or do some people know that? Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. Right in the nods. People have to know. In an hour. You horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. Damn. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry. Find them. I already got it. Right. No more. Done. 
Am I still in the maid outfit? I am. <laughs> Let's put this back on. A little less conspicuous. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. What are you doing well, here? That was unexpected. Ow. But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Right, it's night and I can't be out, of course. There's nothing to make, uh... Nope, there's nothing to make Ollie, uh... Inconspicuous, great. I'll grab that next. Fuck it, why don't I just... Yeah. Okay, where are we going next? Go south, I guess. Right, right, right. Catch me if you can. Oh, fuck, I passed. I was going to look at that real quick. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Got to beat that jubilee to the corner. Whoop. Can't cut across there. Never mind. Oh, another jubilator. Shit. This way. Good thing I have flash, huh? That ends when they go right. Hey, buds. That. Oh, it's Colonel Lawrence's house. Nice. Hey, dicks. I was just minding my own business, how dare you? No, no, no. It's worth polarity. <laughs> hey, my dude. Lovely day for it. I'm terribly sorry, sir. The executive committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck. For fuck's sake, it wasn't helping me anyway. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I tried. Then how does the Motlin get to the village from the mines on Appleholm? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh, yes, she designed the Motlin <sighs> floor system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the Motlin tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. A vicar's bumhole? Hmm. But there's the motoline tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. Alright, so we're going over there this time? Gotcha. Well, let's go ahead and just go to the tunnel. Take a nap for a couple of hours. Until it's day. I've now arrived, thanks to the gods. Through pathways rough and muddy. A certain sign that making roads is not this people's study. Oh, that's five. I'm into seven. Did I? Ah, oh, fucking no. I'm dumb. There. Remember, we're always safe in the dark. Okay. Let's not eat a whole fucking pie this time. Hell of that. Let's get rid of our rotten food. And our raw meat.
I'm just gonna put this whole pie away because if I eat it, I'm gonna like die. And that's not even a joke. I will more than likely die. Okay, and we run now. Fuck it, let's go. Ah, he had a red hat. That son of a bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the gas mask off now. And now we run. <laughs> None of y'all seem to be like aggroing on me, right? Yeah. There's all that joy gas in there. It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. How do I get in there if... This is what we train for. No? You might want to see a doctor, sir. Well, there goes that. This be a lesson to you, then. People take joy on purpose. Ah, fuck what Simon says. I fucking destroy these. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Take a flight, fuck at the moon. Wait, I didn't say Simon says. There's no one here but us ravens. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have too yeah. much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river! Oh, there we go. Taken care of now. You did it. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon says. Now, Simon says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, buddy, you wank sting. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have to- Oh man, I'm so glad I'm having this fucking minigame rather than the other one. My god. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lift platforms. Acton and Max Snell, you bloody charlatan! Oh, you ball your head! Simon You're the first says, wee dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack! Be sure to enjoy your day! Well, fun times. Oh, there it is, right at this intersection here? Nice!
I wonder how Ollie's gonna get inside. Is he gonna just be like, yo, fucker, let me in? Can you believe that red card? Oh, ridiculous. Where do you think you're going? There's no visitors for the two recreants in there. Mr. Maxwell and Mr. Bacon are under ass arrest. Kindly evaporate! Oi! You don't belong there! You're gonna get what's coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Bye. Oh! Oh, he's that one too! I don't know why I thought there wouldn't be more bobbies inside, but whatever. <laughs> nice, an inventory extension. Can I use another one? <gasps> I can! Excellent. Rotten food. Yeah, I don't care about that. Are they still on fire? Thank God! We've been cooped up there forever! Absence makes the heart grow fonder. There's been an absence of absence, I'm afraid. James, we don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have some... Anyway, this is Ollie Stark. Who's he when he's at home? We served together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday. I'm not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Roger says, well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping she designed the mortaline pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own after Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know, like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it. I was hoping there might be uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bobbies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well, then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. Could you all stop screaming your heads off, please? Just, just please. Yeah, he didn't want none of that. He knew better. What are you doing now? He knew better. What am I doing here? Ah, just gotta rotate this then. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. No sense drowning them. You know what that sounds like? Oh my god. 
it sounds just like the um god it sounds just like that guy the uh, the big caveman on conquer's bad fur day when you use the raptor and you bite his ass Doesn't it? Right? You don't know what I'm talking about? Plants of water. We found your blueprints. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, we need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? As your bum out the window. You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. But we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plants. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go for the flowers, spit them out. I'll do my best. We can suck up bees now? Bees. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it, it's back to the garden district, isn't it? It's Christ. Why in the hell was my health like that? Weird. Anyway, well, we'll end things here since we have to go all the way back to the fucking garden district. You know. And then, uh... Yeah. I guess there's bees there too, huh? There's that nest, right? But I think it'd be easier just to go back here and then we can come back up here once I grab that. So we'll end here. I'll grab this one, go over here, grab the bees, come back, and then we'll uh, start up around then, all right? Alrighty, well, until next time, everyone, I will catch you all later. Bye now.